suspensions and their characteristics. Learning is fun with K-12 lessons. Don't forget to subscribe! Take a glass of water and put a handful of sand. Stir it. Have you made a solution? Sand and dirt do not dissolve in water, and though it may look homogeneous for a few moments, the sand gradually sinks to the bottom of the glass. This distinguishes a suspension from a colloid, in which the colloid particles are smaller and do not settle. Colloids and suspensions are different from solution, in which the dissolved substance does not exist as a solid. And solvent and solute are evenly mixed. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which some of the particles settle out of the mixture upon standing. The particles in a suspension are far larger than those of a solution, so gravity is able to pull them down out of the dispersion medium. The diameter for the dispersed particles in a suspension, such as the sand in the suspension, is typically at least 1,000 times greater than those in a solution. Unlike a solution, the dispersed particles can be separated from the dispersion medium by filtering. Suspensions are typically cloudy and you cannot see through them. Additionally, if a suspension is left undisturbed, you will often see some of the particles settle to the bottom of the container, that is why suspensions are considered heterogeneous. Suspension can be used in processing food, beverages, and medicine. General Characteristics and Properties of Suspension Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Particles of the solute do not dissolve in the solvent rather they remain suspended in bulk throughout. The size of particles of suspension is large enough to be visible from naked eyes. It shows Tyndall effect because of their large size of particles. When it is left for some time, particles get settled in the bottom. The particles in it can be separated through the process of filtration. Common examples of suspension Mixture of flour and water Mixture of chalk and water Muddy water Mixture of sand and water Write S if the materials are a suspension and N if not. Water and sand mixture. Muddy water. Dust and air mixture. Salt and water mixture Soap True or false? Sand is insoluble to water A suspension consists of two or more substances that will mix together, but do not dissolve into each other to form new particles or compounds. The mixture of a sugar and water is an example of a suspension.
Suspensions are insoluble mixture. Suspensions are mixtures composed of materials that are visible to the naked eyes. Write insoluble or soluble for the following mixtures. Gasoline in water. Acetone in nail polish. Salt in alcohol. Oil in vinegar. Tawis in water. And circle the examples of suspensions. Choose the letter of the best answer. What kind of mixture is formed when larger particles settle out when left undisturbed? A. Colloid. B. Suspension. C. Solution. D. Solvent. Which of the following mixtures is not an example of a suspension? A. Salt and water. B. Oil and water. C. Sand and water. D. Chalk and water. How does suspension appear? A. It appears clear. B. It appears cloudy. C. It appears messy. D. None of the above. Which of the following statements do not describe a suspension? A. Suspensions are larger particles that are visible to the naked eyes. B. Suspensions are particles that settle out when left undisturbed. C. Mixture of soil and water is an example of suspension. D. Suspensions are homogeneous mixture and invisible to the naked eye. Identify whether the answer is yes or no. Suspensions can be used in processing medicine, beverage and food. The appearance of suspension is clear and uniform in color. Mixture of tea leaves in hot water as an example of suspension. Suspension appears cloudy. Suspension is a kind of mixture where particles are evenly distributed and invisible.